Hello and welcome back to the channel and Deus Ex Human Revelations. So we're trying to find Elijah, the news anchor. So we're on top of the newsroom. And quickly hack this. It's got a pretty weak security rating. Ooh. Detection, 75%. 35. Ooh, what's this? 55. Access granted. that upgrade that we picked up ammunition count okay let's combine that with our assault rifle picus area okay oh How close are we to another Praxic kit? I think the next thing we're going to go to is just fully max out this. Getting oh, some more chits, some credits. PK. Okay, what was this terminal called? Oh, that one was... Yeah, of course, I just read those emails. I should have known that one wasn't. A shoe. What's in here? Looks like this place is an abandoned place. Jensen, something's not right. Pikes is a 24-hour global news network. Why isn't anyone answering their phones? I'll get back to you on that. Six. Oh, we got a Praxic kit. It's an interesting thing to just be left in a drawer. So we might as well use that now to just fully upgrade hacking. There we go. Now we can hack any, um, anything we come across. Security firewall. Oh, 
go. Bank account, password. Sales room? Okay. Looks like everyone left in a hurry, Pritchard. The place is deserted. Because somebody triggered a fire alarm and then silenced it. I suggest you find Miss Kassan quickly and get out of there. Codes in there. I'll tell you I was coming, Miss Kassan. Please, call me Eliza. Zhao Yunru did not tell me. She does not know you have discovered this connection. So how did you find out? I have been watching you for some time. Ever since receiving orders to temporarily disrupt satellites over the Detroit metropolitan area six months ago. The night Megan's team was taken. You jammed their GPL so everyone would think they were dead. Yes. Although I only came to that conclusion later, I find my realization disturbing. I wish we could discuss this further, but it seems I have alerted them to your presence. If you leave now, you may be able to escape. Oh, I'm leaving. But you're coming with me. I am sorry, Adam. I truly am. Jensen, get out of there now! Tell me you saw that, Pritchard. Later! Right now, I'm detecting multiple radio signals converging on your location. It's a trap! We knew that. And I'm not leaving without Eliza Kassan. So find her while I look for a way to get downstairs. Okay. Let's sneaky sneaky. Four oh four is clear. But he couldn't have gotten far. Don't be too sure. What the hell was that? Make the call. I need suppression fire. Come get me. Whoa. 
he just he just domed me with a shotgun. We knew that. And I'm not leaving without Eliza Kassan. So find her while I look for a way to get downstairs. can't walk and take a sniper position. He's probably crawling around here somewhere. Is someone hiding over there? Some better sniper line. Yes, sir. You, I want you to secure that exit over there. Right away, sir. I do not have a confirmation yet. Hostile in the area. Keep searching. You got him? No, keep looking. Keep looking. On it, sir. <laughs> Where are we going? Pritchard, have you found Eliza Kassan yet? Possibly. Back in room 404, I detected a holo processing cloud more sophisticated than anything I've ever seen. It was sent from an area of the complex that wasn't showing up on the 3D layout. You found a seat. Okay, what should we do next, guys? Lair. A sub-basement level that somebody spent an awful lot of time trying to conceal. It's connected to the tower by a funicular. Look for a staircase in the back of the TV newsroom and you'll reach it. Sneaky, sneaky.
Access grant. So we went complete wrong way. Right Jensen, I've been tracking your progress through the 3D layout. Note. You're close to the funicular. Any chance it's sitting there waiting for me? Where would the fun be in that? You'll have to call it and wait. Oh, and Jensen, when you do, they're going to know where you are. So if we're going to have to wait, my goal's going to be to block off the entrances and put landmines around and all that jazz. This will help out though. So close, so Access close. Grant. Enemies. Okay. Then we'll just turn the cameras off. No point in having them. But we have the turret set up to just kill enemies.
this thing. This thing will be good right here, I feel. And then I'm gonna try to block off the areas so they can only come one way. So my idea is to funnel them into the turrets. That there. Oh, oh, six, eight. this one because as soon as we open up they're gonna know exactly where we are okay there's nothing in here Grab. there and we'll put a couple of like frag grenades frag mines yeah. here <laughs> Whoa. all of that for no reason I think I'm just gonna block off that one door. That one door and just throw it at the stop. At the top. Okay, let's try this again. Oh 
Okay. Access granted. Okay, so we'll change this to enemies. there on top of a box This can go here. Perfect. That's done it. Bravo! They'll be converging on your position and the funicular will take some time to get there. It isn't a high-speed elevator. Great. Not to worry. I'm sure your new friends will make the wait interesting. I'll keep you up to date on this progress. Thanks for nothing, Francis. What's happening? The funicular is halfway there, Jensen. Is 
they're not even anywhere near my turret. Well, we've got a Praxit kit. We might as well quickly use that. Hmm, what do we want to use it for? Maybe stealth. Eyes confused. Doesn't know what to do. Your ride is there, Jensen. Get moving. There we go. Jensen. I'm beginning to think that not everything is what it appears to be at Pike's communications. And what gave you that idea? The hidden sub-basement, the fact that a 24-hour news network has been cleared of all workers, or the heavily armed guards trying to kill me? Spare me the sarcasm. I'm talking about how easy it's been to bypass the firewall and access their systems. At least, parts of them. Whatever do you mean? I mean, I feel as if I'm being directed to some areas of the network and kept away from others. Only no security system I know of can do that on the fly. Figure it out later, Pritchard. If I'm gonna catch Miss Kassan in action, I need a more accurate destination than the secret lair. The hollow processing cloud you encountered in room 404 was accompanied by a massive power spike. The spike originated in one of the sub-basement's bigger rooms, 80211. I suspect that's where she broadcasts from. 80211, okay. This is the longest elevator, sub-level 21, 22. Nightly World News with Elijah. There's a lot of security here. A lot. I've got a pop. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Oh.
Stand down. Got a bird up here. Gotta wave it. Stay up. alert. What's that? Got a possible. Yeah. Sounds like that. <laughs> Armory. Over there. That was unlocked, I could have used... I could have used that. The robot as a... those EMP. Armory, here we go. One, nine, eight, four. That's not what I want combined. was an EMP that was.
Uh, let's go to the assault rifle. that there's heavy ammo there doesn't feel like it's a good thing AI program so they say but I have started to question that ever since I realized what my interference had allowed the day I started watching you this is impossible people would know would they I was engineered to monitor communications and data streams to find out what people are talking about and make sure it's being discussed correctly correctly and what if it isn't then my programming allows me to reshape it. You spin the news. Control what people see. Who created you? Whose policies are you programmed to protect? Zhao is one of them, I think. But there are others. Tell me. Who else is involved in this, Eliza? Where's Megan Reed? Who ordered the kidnapping? I want to tell you, Adam, but I cannot. Why not? Because she won't let me. Okay, this is going to be hard. Come on, come on. 
Okay, so I need to get up and hack that computer as fast as possible. I have put my existence at risk, Adam. It is in order to report threats like you, but I disobey. Adam, the coolant on the floor. It is electrically conductive. Her life signs are fading. Will you save her? I'll think about it. Will you answer my questions now? I cannot tell you where Reed and the others were taken. They vanished from the global grid as soon as the doctor removed their GPL implants. What doctor? This is Sandoval. Why are you calling me here? I know this guy. He's Bill Taggart's aide. He was a trauma surgeon before he became an anti-augmentation activist. Would you like to hear more? Yes. There's been a change of plans. Seraph's team must not make it to the hearing. But that's too soon! If you want me to remove the GPLs, I'll need a full operating suite. Does the facility have one? Barrett assures me it does. FEMA. That's where they were taken. But why? Why take them at all? An acquaintance of yours has the answer. David Sarif. Sarif? I have copied the audio transmission to a handheld playback device. I suggest you take it and leave quickly. I have more questions. And I have already told you too much. This passage will take you to your companion. Just be careful, Adam. Because everybody lies. out very well for us, didn't it, guys? Let's run upstairs, see if we can find anything. It was really good that we managed to hack that. We're so lucky we had those. To quickly hack the door downstairs, hack the door upstairs, and then pin her in a corner and just turn the turrets on her.
Jensen? Eliza Kassan just contacted me and told me I should meet you here. You ready to go? Yeah, take us home, Malik. Amen to that. We're back to Detroit. At least I assume from the uh, from the splash screen. on his way to meet you. guys well we're going to end this episode here so if you liked it like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one